previously on Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank you, Master Witcher. Your reward ain't much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Thank you. Any problems in the future, you keep me in mind. That's right. We're going to be going after some more problems today as well. Welcome back to... Pro wow, I almost said Project Zomboid. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Death March Mode, going into episode number 18. The Merry Widow is the contract we've taken. We're on the way to talk to the Gravedigger here in town. To see what's up with this contract, get some more information. Actually, Roach, don't run. Hear about the job. Hear about the job, buddy. You've got a problem. Some graves get dug up. If that were only it. Every now and then, a vile beast that come round the graveyard, devour what's fresh, then move on. Started again not long past. Thought to myself. Just don't step out after dark and lock your door tight. But then a young'un went missing. From the graveyard? Nay, from the village. Little snotter wouldn't have come here of his own. And I'd heard something like a whimper in the night. Didn't bother to come out, see what was happening? Think me daft. If you've monsters, you need a witcher. That's uh, at least reward. good on your part, buddy. Let's talk about this. 240 is the baseline. Looks like 294 is on the top end. How much can we get out of you? I'm hoping maybe maybe 250 if we're good, if we're lucky. Oh, excuse me. Just the tiniest bit, dear. Okay, I guess 250. Let's do it. Ten more. That works. Do you now, bud? See if I can learn what's out there. Okay, so it looks like we need to head to the cemetery. Roach! Roach! Let's go, buddy! We've got a little ways to go on here. But it looks like it's right up here on the top of the hill is my guess. There's a watchtower, but uh, we're heading to the right, not that direction. Up the hill we go. We can see it on the mini-map. There it is. Yeah. Little cemetery. And it looks like it's full of dogs. Yep, yeah, looks like dogs. So we got ready, get ready to kill some wild dogs. Get some beast oil on our blade, probably. That's gonna be our best bet. Good start, at least. Beast oil, right? Where are ya? It's right there. It's vampire oil. Beast, beast oil. There it is. Toss it in. And I guess I'll toss it on the silver sword in case we need it, but I doubt we will. At least not yet. Not at this point. What's up, dogs? You guys ready for this? Come at me. Come at me. Got my Quinn up. I'm good to go. Got Igni, Igni ready to roll, too. There's an animal right there. It looks like that dog just got close enough. Take that. And we're moving in there, starting to engage. Oh, oh they broke our Quinn. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Stay back, buddies. Get our Quinn back up quickly. There we go, good. Good power attack. And it almost missed it, took down our Quinn again. Oh, almost got tapped there. That's what I'm talking about, Geralt. Keep them all tied up, get those multi-hits in, switching targets. Best way to do it in this game, in my opinion. If you can handle it. It's a little tricky with the, with the combat system, the way it is. Oh, broke our Quinn again, but that's alright. We finished off the last dog. Ghouls dug up the grave. Let's loot up real quick. The stench of decay attracted wild dogs, but neither ghouls nor dogs yeah, steal kids. Smart thinking there, Geralt. That is true that dogs don't steal kids. Well, you know what? I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if somewhere in the world a dog stole a kid and, you know, like some wild dog somewhere stole a kid, like a young child from a, from a village or something. I would not be surprised. If that had not happened before, kids would probably be pretty yelly if they got caught, but, you know. 
No tools. Who would dig up a grave if no tools were with no tools used? Not just dig up their claws. Nope. Claw marks right there. Like they knew. They knew they were bones. And if they needed bones, what are we gonna find on this side? What graves can we check? Right up here, Dug we can up. check. No tools Just more bones. Yep. Dug up with a hoe. Let's try around the back. Nope. What are we gonna find? No marks right there. There's another grave. This one doesn't look Graves dug up totally. Dug up recently. Smell of cadaverines old though. Overripe. Wonder where the stench will lead me. Hmm, fair enough. I guess it has been quote unquote dug up. That just looks like a pile of dirt to me though. But okay, at least we got a an, uh, something to follow here. Clearly we got a scent. A scent of cadaverine. And it's going to lead us where we need to go. Hopefully to this monster. Something down there on the hillside. That might not be it. It's just the sound. That sound wave there, you can see it. I doubt that's where we're heading though. I have my doubts. So let's take a look. We're going to bust out our bestiary. Take a look at our necrophages list. What do we got on here? Some ghouls? I mean, it could be an all ghoul. I wouldn't be too surprised if it was an all ghoul. They do get into the into the uh, into the the bones and stuff. They they'll dig up corpses. So let's toss on some necrophage oil to our silver blade. Be a little ready for that if we need it. And Geralt, bust out your smell o vision, buddy. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Thought we might have lost it there for a minute, but we found it. We got a bridge here, we're gonna jump over this bridge, looks like we don't wanna get caught in here. I've been caught down there with that bear, and he's killed me in this mode. I fell down there, uh, maybe an episode or two back when I was coming through here, just wasn't paying attention to the, the breaks in the, uh, bridge here, and I fell straight down in there. Had to fight that bear, and I was like, oh, I'll take him. I'll take this bear, it's no big deal. Nope, he finished me off. He took me down. He was red skull to me at that point, uh, and he definitely just destroyed my face. That actually might have been on the previous mode, oops, sorry, bumping the desk, that's going to make some noise on the mic, uh, it may have actually been on the previous mode, not on my New Game Plus, but when I was playing this Death March mode prior to getting the New Game Plus option, I don't recall, it was a few episodes back, whatever it was. Busting out some black blood, what that does is with necrophages, if if they go for your blood, necrophages, I think maybe, maybe vampires, but I doubt it, I think just necrophages for specifically, um, if they hit you, they'll also take damage with the black blood. So basically, it's, it's it infects your blood, and when they hit you and contact your blood, it's also detrimental to them. They're after your blood regardless at that point, so might as well make it hurt them, right? At least that's that's in my opinion. All right, so bust out our coin shield again. It looks like we found the the end of our trail of scent. Now we're gonna blow down this door and take a look, take somebody by surprise. But it looks like maybe no one's inside. Whatever so self sneak lives in. here sure chose an unusual place for its lair. Yeah. This is an odd area. Can use tools. It's like damn nest. Or just plain clever. Definitely seems sapient. They've got a Somebody's cook pot over cooking. here. This. It's a human femur. A child's. Well, that's human a great thought. A it looks like that's where the child went. Monsters went. clearly using them. Drawing strength from the place of power. Gotta be a grave hag. Just put Collected skulls in a skulls circle and give you power? Through them. Confidence grew enough it started prowling the village. Need to take the skulls. Force it to go back to the cemetery. I'll get it oh, there. Of course. That ought to really Let's grab those skulls, I guess. Now to lay low in the cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. Grave hag. All right, Grave Hag. I've fought one of you before. You guys aren't too bad. Let's get back to that cemetery, and uh, we're gonna put those on display, because that's where we're gonna we're gonna draw this fight to the cemetery. Thankfully, it's pretty close to the village, so not a long trek back to get to our payment once it's complete. So I'm okay with that result. It's gonna be nice and quick once we finish up here with this Grave Hag. Now I don't know for certain, but I'm almost I'm like 99% positive Grave Hag is a necrophage. Uh, enemy, so we don't need to change our oils on our blade. I don't think. Let's go ahead and place it and see what happens. You can hear her. She sure sees us. Little wear hand, aren't you? 
barrels here to make that, uh, that wariness beautiful. Oh, to dig up his own. There she is, right on cue. All right. Necrophage oil, good. We just took a black blood. Any damage that she does will come back at us. There we go. We tossed a, uh, a dragon's dream explosion there and then lit that smoke on fire with a superior grave shot. Good explosion cloud there that we used on her. Didn't do much damage. I was, little, I was hoping for a little bit more. Didn't get it. That's okay. Bust out our Quinn shield. Let's see if we can keep this one a little active. Oh, she's trying to go for the tongue lick there. I do believe you can uh, you can actually counter that if you're quick enough on your right clicks to block. You can do it like a ripo stay. And I think the counter attack, if you do it right, will slice her tongue off. I have never successfully done that. So... I always, I mean, I always forget about it, you know, when I, in the moment, or when I do try it, I always miss it. Uh, but if you've done that, drop in the comment section down below. I'd really love to confirm if that's if that's what I'm thinking it is. If uh, if, if it's these enemies, the grave hags and uh, uh, water hags, I do believe do it as well. But they may not do that specific attack, so I'm not positive. There you go. Enjoy some of that igni. We probably shouldn't lit it up so much because we already had her on fire and stunned. That's all we were, I was really after. But uh, the nice thing about that is with these sustained abilities, like Igni's sustained ability there, uh, and Yurden's sustained ability. I've also started using Quinn's sustained shield, because I didn't really understand how it worked before. You can literally just hold the shield in place uh, for as long as you like, and I don't believe things can hit through it, and when you let go, it pops like a, like a shockwave that can stun enemies. So, something that I've never really used before, but I've totally had unlocked since my first game, and I didn't just I just didn't understand it. So let's go ahead and do this grave egg. We're gonna go down. We're gonna keep our quin shield up. I'm just sick of dealing with getting hit, so we need to get some uh, get some attacks in here and get you swapped around. There we go. She broke our damn quin shield again, and it did a little bit of damage there to us. Thankfully, not too much. Enough that uh, I needed to start thinking about popping a, a, a heal potion at this point. Come on, you. We're just gonna dance around you and do some damage. Stay stay at your back if you can. Oh, she got us there. Oh, she got us good. Let's pop a swallow. Get that Quinn shield back up too. Yep, stay back, stay back. I'm gonna try and get behind you, I think. Let's scooch around the sides there. Yeah, that's right. You try to lick me, and I'll get some licks in on your back. Oh, almost got us with the claw there, but we got enough of a snag of Igni on him to get him lit up, so there we go. We'll keep these busy. We'll keep this Grave Hag busy, that is with some flames, dealing with that, get some good attacks in, get some distance back, and as you come back at us, just more flames, just more flames. Yeah, you can try that tongue if you like, it's not going to do you much good. Come here then, come here. Yeah, oh, too late on the Igni. Get some space, bust out a quin shield again, pop another swallow potion, and we're going to be back in this fight. Almost done with the two damage, she gets us good with that, with that quin shield break constantly. She can get some quick attacks in. Grave eggs are not, a, not an enemy to mess with, that's for certain. Stay back. Come at ya, we're coming at ya. As long as, you know, you don't come at us like that, I'm good. Bust that another Swallow Potion, we're gonna go through them. In fact, we have gone through our stack of those. I still do have some enhanced uh, Swallow Potions in our bag to swap to if need be. But uh, we are out of our superior potions. This Grave Hag did a number on us. Uh, she stunned us right before we got the stun on her, so well played there. And she broke our damn Quinn shield. Damn it, we just keep losing this Quinn shield. I'm picking bad attack, bad times to attack. I need to be a little smarter about when I'm actually doing these attacks. Let's go ahead and bust out some more, uh, some more something to heal with. Let's see, White Rutherford potions, I think, and we're gonna bust out our honey so that we can clear our potion toxicity if need be. You know what? You know what? Why don't we just do food? We can heal up at this point. You know, I don't need to do White Rutherford's potion just yet. We're doing okay, I might be able to heal up with just some food and not have to wor waste that and worry about the toxicity levels. One of those White Rutherford potions is just an instant heal, and I think at my current HP or with my current potion, it's still a pretty decent heal. Uh, I think it does around uh, maybe 66% of my current health bar, give or take. There we go, Grave Egg, you're done for. Get that quick attack in before you're able to swipe at us. Let's grab our trophy. Grave Egg Mutagen, Grave Egg Ear. Gravehead trophy, that's what I'm after. That knife is just tiny. Tiniest little hunting knife. 
But I guess it works. Thing works on some massive monsters. There you go, Roach. Let's head back in. And we're gonna go collect our reward. Now before we do that, it's getting pretty close to the end of the video, so thank you guys so much for watching. This has been your Captain Mog speaking. If you like what you saw or learned something new, consider hitting that like button. I'd really appreciate that feedback. It helps other people find my videos as well, too, so that's a greatly appreciated thing. And of course, uh, if you want to ask me any questions about the game or about the channel, about myself, even drop them in the comment section below. I try to answer everything I can. And if you want to keep getting my videos from straight to your YouTube homepage, hit that subscribe button. Join the Mog Squad today. It was a grave hack that dug up the graves and snatched the child. Aye, so it was. How is the little tyke? Not so great. Child's dead. Oh, tis as I thought. What about my reward? Oh, I've not forgotten, eh? Yeah, let's get back Here on topic, go. bud. Thanks much for your help. Take care. Oh, for whatever reason, my audio is just starting to load at the end of the episode again. That's weird. It was all loaded before this. Run, well, thanks, buddy. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the the cash there. So thank you so much. And in the next episode, we're gonna be going after some more stuff that you're gonna see in I guess the preview here. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Cheers. Next time on Witcher Three: The Wild Hunt. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek you? I need your help. Whoa. A man. Nay, a wolf. Grey. But not old. Is he the Peller awaits?